I was born and raised in the city. One might expect that I had little exposure to nature, but it was quite the opposite experience. In my growing up, uh, the first thing that we, we learned was to give praise to God for the magnificent creation. And uh, you had to grow in your understanding of the creation and of the creator simultaneously. There was no either or. This marsh, this great marsh uh, on which I live, this is uh, a habitat that uh, I and my family share with a lot of other creatures. Oh, Naomi, did you go right in? Yeah. All right. Well, Ruth, uh, she gets all the nets together and uh, some trays, and they all go down to the creek, and they dip for a fish and invertebrates, and they do that almost every Friday. Funny how he's Aha. Doesn't he need to be in the water to kind of go out of water? The children are great translators for people who have reached adulthood because they ask questions which we used to ask but no longer ask, and now we are obligated to answer, answer uh, to questions like, how does a snake swallow a frog and keep on breathing without collapsing its lung? And of course, scientists try to remain children their whole lives so they can continue to ask these questions, but most of us lose that capacity. Isopods. Oh, look, here's a baby leech. It starts there, but then as you uh, gain knowledge in science, and science really is more of, a, of, of, a, of an activity than a body of knowledge, what you discover is that there are highly disciplined ways of looking at things very, very carefully for long periods of time. You open yourself to all of the lessons being taught, you're not in a hurry to get off to somewhere else, and uh, that beholding is really very critical. And interestingly, in the scriptures, we have the same kind of uh, admonition when you look at creation. 